Hey there, uh, I wanted to do yet another project update. Uh, you're probably thinking, boy, it hasn't been long since the last project update, and it's been even less time since you just came out with a video supposedly catching us up. Well, a lot has happened since then, um, and I didn't intend to have an update so quickly, but I'm happy that I do. Uh, so first off, you might notice some parts in front of me. Um, indeed, I got my finishing kit, the long, awaited finishing kit vans called last week they said it's ready your finishing kit is ready your laser cut parts order is ready and your web order is ready all three at once so i grabbed a u-haul i headed down to aurora oregon uh, where i picked all three of those things up i did not grab much delivery or unboxing footage i think we've all seen enough of that uh, and it was a whirlwind i had to get the crate off of the van uh, go ahead and unload it right in front of my house everything just piled into the house, into the living room, crate everything back up, all of the waste, uh, haul that off to the dump, and then return the truck. The finishing kit is by far the largest kit, it's the most expensive kit. Uh, not necessarily the most pieces, uh, because some of the components are really high value and just large, um, but there's a lot to it. And uh, finding places for all this has been a struggle. Let's take a look at that real quick. Waking up, it's gone. It leaves us feeling cold again. Picking up the stones, our hands were made to feel. And moments like these, they show us what we've got when we ain't got a thing. We've got us 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 Yes! His eyes look infected His left Ah, thanks for letting me enjoy that one. <laughs> um, I, I still can't tell whether she's like mad at the cereal or that I'm making her do this um, or the fact that my boots were still on when I was in bed in that shot. Uh, just, just kidding. She has no idea that my boots were on. Um, anyways, uh, back to the garage here. Uh, I am having to store a lot of this stuff. As you know, my garage is absolutely cramped as it is. Um, now, I make do, and I, I somewhat enjoy the space that I've created around me, but certainly there's no room for cowlings, uh, roll cages, uh, windshields, and so those are, are going to be stored upstairs for the time being. Astute viewers may have noticed um, some things on the shelf that were not included in the finishing kit, and very astute viewers may notice uh, that those pieces indicate uh, some other big news that um, I'm taking way too long to get to, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, indeed, I had that web order I mentioned. It included things like a fuel boost pump, uh, an and air fuel selector switch, um, the fuel injection boost pump doghouse, as they call it, or the whole kit uh, to house this thing in the center console of the RV. Now, why is that important? I wasn't able to purchase those items if I didn't know what engine I was going to go with. Uh, in fact, I've wanted to address the fuel lines and the fuel boost pump in the cabin before I button things up too far in there, but I haven't been able to because certain engines and certain fuel injection systems will require different switches and different pumps. What I'm getting at is I finally picked an engine for my plane, um, and it took a lot. It took a lot of phone calls. Uh, a lot of quotes. I want to thank anybody who worked with me and was able to provide some quotes. Um, I really appreciate the time spent. A few things happened that allowed me to narrow down my choice. One, I finally spoke to Lycoming, and I uh, I don't want to cast too much judgment on Lycoming. I think, similar to Vans, we can all be a little disappointed in their ability to communicate. Um, but other than that, I don't know what sort of backlog they're working through. I do want to assume everyone there is working as hard as they can, sort of like the folks at Vans Aircraft. Um, to get out of, of a major backlog. That said, uh, I was not instilled with any confidence that they were a viable source for an engine for my project. 
um, I was given uh, a more definitive timeline than what's available on Van's website uh, and for my chosen engine, one that I thought was a, a little less in demand than some of the IO 390s, regardless, uh, was greater than 24 months. If anything, those timelines seem to be getting kicked out rather than retreating back. Um, and I don't want to wait two years or more for an engine. So with Lycoming out, I got a few quotes on rebuilds, remanufactured. I thought maybe we could save some time, perhaps even some money. Um, but still, a similar shortage of cores has created uh, a bottleneck there. And to get a remanufactured engine, even though to new specifications, it's still exceptionally expensive. Some shops providing quotes in excess of $60,000. Ultimately, I signed on with Continental Engines and their Titan Experimental line. I will be putting the Titan 370 in this. It has the correct horizontal induction, fuel injection, mounting type uh, to make use of all of the parts that I have already purchased that were specified for my engine. I don't have to go out and source a new cowl or a new engine mount, which is great. It's fantastic. It allows me to get the, the original boost pump fuel injection kit from Vans that I wanted. Uh, that we just saw moments ago and begin installing that. It allows me to get an engine in a, a shorter time frame, uh, a brand new engine, and I think a very robust engine. After working with their team, uh, talking about the benefits of the Continental, I am satisfied that this was a, a smart choice for me, as it might be for many of you out there. As previously noted, I, I am well on my way to outlining the perfect panel for my plane. In fact, uh, I spend way too much time just staring at my Maple Leaf panel here in the garage. Um, and so I will begin installation of that before too long. There's really nothing left except for hard work uh, on my end to get this thing up in the air. So with that, I'm going to get back to counting nuts and washers so that eventually I can get back to building my plane, making videos, and getting this thing further down the runway towards completion. Uh, I'm excited for you to be along. As always, subscribe uh, if you haven't yet. Stay tuned for more updates. And thank you very much for tuning in for yet another project update. I look forward to another uh, build video coming out in a couple weeks at the latest. We'll talk soon.